any point in your relationship, communication is extremely important. Mm -hmm. But in this video, we want to break down as new parents, we want to break down why it's so important to have that good communication as new parents. Yeah, you hit the nail on the head. As, as new parents, it's so important to communicate and keep communication at the forefront because you're navigating this new space right. as being parents. And as we talked about in one of our earlier videos, um, talking about some of the hardest or like challenges within the first year of parenthood, it's the newness of it all. Mm -hmm. And having some fear around that because it's such yeah. a new space. And so it's so important to communicate because the first year is challenging. Right. It's filled with newness. Oftentimes, you know, your confidence may be lagging a little bit. You may be feeling like there's some areas where you're struggling. And that comes with areas as far as like being a parent, but showing up in your marriage, mm -hmm. showing up for yourself and simply just trying to balance it all. And so there are going to be moments where you feel extremely overwhelmed. Right. You're going to be tired. You're going to have misdirected energy at mm -hmm. times or misdirected frustration. That's big. And so it's important to communicate and say, hey, babe, I'm not feeling my best today. Yeah. Um, it's not toward you. It, you know, I'm just feeling very overwhelmed with the day to day today. And I, I need a second or having your partner come in and hear that and say, OK, how can I support you yeah. in this moment? How can I be there for you? What does support look like for you? Does right. it mean me giving you your space to decompress and try to just have some quiet time to yourself? Or does this mean that you need me to come and comfort you and uh, console you? Like, what does support look like for you? And mm -hmm. I think that communicating how you're feeling, whether you're happy, you're sa sad, you're overwhelmed, you're angry, is so important. But then allowing your partner to then respond to that information and say, how can I be there for you? What does support look like for you in this given moment? Because it could very well change. Um, Dang. Yeah. I mean, that was just so well said. Yeah. You eloquently just said everything that I was thinking, but mm -hmm. you just said it perfectly. Yeah. And how many times have we done that over yeah. the, the course of this first year? We have. We, right. We've done it a, well, a lot. Well, we've had right? to readjust like many of times. There have been times when you've come to me and said, babe, I need a second. I'm very overwhelmed. It's been a long day at work. Yeah. You know, so Jordan's fussy. He's tired or this or that. I just need a second. Can you come and step in? Yeah. And take care of the day to day right now. Mm -hmm. I just need a moment. And I totally get that and, and vice versa. Happy home, yeah. building a happy marriage, building a happy family. All of those things take day in and day out work. Like yes. you said, it's about those routines, it's about those habits and building those healthy habits provides you the responsibility for you to pour into your marriage, to pour into your relationship and to pour into yourself. Exactly.